Welcome to this first lesson that will introduce us to the basic concepts that will keep popping up as we talk about data analysis. Now, this lesson will help us understand all the concepts that we need or that we need to remind ourselves when we are discussing data analysis. And these concepts are research, data analysis, statistics, ETC. They are terms that you may have come across, but we are reminding ourselves so that as we discuss how to analyze quantitative data, then we will keep reminding ourselves and mentioning these terms, and we do not want to lose any one of us. The first term we define is research. Now, research is defined as search for knowledge. Why are we searching for knowledge? We are searching for knowledge because in the society there were problems, there are problems, there will be problems. These problems, we call them research gaps. So we do research so that we can collect data, analyze, interpret, make recommendations and conclusions so that we can answer or fill that gap. It therefore means that for you to make quality research findings or for you to be able to fill this gap and present a report that will be useful to the society, then you must collect quality data and that data needs to be analyzed and interpreted. We have three main research approaches. We have qualitative that collects narrative data. We have quantitative which collects numerical data. And we have mixed method that collects both narrative and numerical. Data analysis. Data analysis is the process of reducing that data that you have collected into summaries that can be understood by the people who are meant to consume your findings. We use statistical tools for quantitative data and we use thematic induction for qualitative data. Please note that for quantitative analysis, the selection of statistical tool that we'll use to analyze that type of data is dependent on the scale of measurement. All we are saying it is dependent on the type of data that you have collected. Now, what is scale of measurement? Scales of measurement refers to the way in which data collected on variables, and we are going to define the variable, have been categorized and all are quantified, meaning that scales of measurement helps us to categorize data on variables, and it also helps us to quantify data on variables. So scales of measurement deals with categorization and quantification. We have four main scales of measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio, and that is what we are going to discuss in our next lesson. The next term we need to define ourselves is population. Population refers to the entire group of people, events, or things of interest that the researcher wishes to investigate. Now, each and every individual in a population is called an element. Why are we interested in defining this term? Because in research, we do not study the entire group of people that has the characteristics that have the characteristics that we require. We normally use a sample. A sample is a subset of the population. That is the group that you select from the population who will participate in the study. Each individual in a sample is called a subject. So note who is an element and who is a subject. It is also important to remember that we normally analyze a sample to make predictions about the characteristics of the population. That is why in statistics, we normally say we use sample statistics to estimate the population parameters. As samples increase to more than 30, the sampling distribution tends to become normal distribution with a sample mean equal to the population mean. Remember, we need to have a sample as representative of the population as possible. Therefore, 
quantitative research or quantitative analysis normally uses a sample that is more than 30 and that is what is referred to as the central limit theorem because it is when we have such a sample that we can confidently say that our sample mean is equal to the population mean and we shall be explaining this further when we look at the analysis in, in details. Now, what is a parameter and what is a statistic? Maybe you may be wondering, why do we talk about statistics? We talk about statistics because we analyze a sample. Therefore, a statistic is a numerical value or measure of, of a characteristic of the sample. So, any analysis we do on the sample is called statistic. And that is why we talk about statistics. And we normally use statistics to infer or to determine the characteristics of a population, which we call a parameter. That is why we are defining a parameter as a numerical value or measure of a characteristic of the population. Therefore, X bar, is, which is the mean of a sample, is a statistic. Whereas mu, which is the mean of the population, is a parameter. Precision. We have said we use statistics to estimate parameters. Therefore, the accuracy with which the population parameters have been estimated is what we call uh, precision, is what is referred to as precision. Statistics. This is a body of science or mathematical techniques that we use to organize, analyze, and interpret data. You can either analyze data on the sample manually or by use of a software like we are going to discuss, which is IBM SPSS statistics. We mainly have two types of statistics. We have descriptive, where descriptive summarizes data by letting one number stand for a group of numbers, whereas inferential allows the researchers to make inferences and predictions about a population based on a sample of data taken from the population in question. Please note, descriptive describes a sample, and therefore any descriptive statistics that you analyze or that you use in your study will only describe the sample from which you collected data from. But you cannot generalize descriptive statistics to the population. You can only generalize when you take it further to inferential statistic because now you will use the sample statistic to estimate the population parameters. Then we move to the next term. And the next term that we need to define is statistical tests. A statistical test is a procedure for deciding whether a hypothesis about the feature of a population is true or false. So statistical tests are done on hypothesis. And once we have drawn a random sample from the population in question and we calculate a statistic or we calculate the statistics of that sample, we then test the hypothesis to determine whether there is any relationship between the sample and the population based on what you are measuring. The intent of statistical test is to determine whether there is enough evidence to reject a hypothesis or fail to reject a hypothesis. We mainly have two types of statistical tests, and the two types are parametric and non-parametric. Parametric are for scale or continuous data, whereas non-parametric are for categorical data. We are going to discuss these two types of data in our next lesson. Parametric tests are based on the assumption that data has been drawn from a normally distributed population, whereas non-parametric do not make this assumption. And that is why they are also referred to as assumption-free tests, because they make fewer assumptions and they rely on ranks and not on actual data. And that is what this, uh, this diagram shows us 
that statistical tests fall into two types, parametric and non-parametric. Unit of analysis and unit of observation. Unit of analysis is the primary unit that will be the subject of statistical analysis, whereas unit of observation is an object about which information is collected. Note it is possible to have a unit of analysis that is different from a unit of observation. You can collect data on a project, that is your unit of observation, but you analyze the individual beneficiary of that project and that becomes your unit of analysis. Measurement. Measurement refers to the process of assigning numbers, meanings, and descriptions to individuals or objects so that those scores represent the characteristic of interest. Please do not confuse data collection with measurement. Measurement does not mean data collection, but data collection is part of measurement because from our definition, you can see it is the process of either assigning a number when you are collecting data, meanings and description. So even when you are defining a term operationally, you are measuring. The next term we define is variable. A variable is a measurable characteristic which assumes different values among the subjects. So the key word in variables is variation. So a variable must vary, it is observable, and it is measurable. So when you talk about a variable, you will be looking at any characteristic that you vary across a subject or an object. Then With that, we have come to the end of lesson one. This lesson has introduced us to the concepts that are relevant in this course on data analysis using IBM SPSS statistics. In lesson two, we shall discuss the scales of measurement. Now, for more information, visit the website where you'll be able to learn more on research methods. You'll be able to subscribe to the YouTube channel book consultation and buy the ebook which is available.